What's up everyone, today we are going to be going over the flashlight build for Holy Paladin. This build is going to be for early dungeon spamming due to high mana requirements of Holy Life spamming. This build will quickly be outpaced as you get geared, but it can improve your week 1 heroic lockouts. The flashlight build being the strongest in the beginning of the expansion, is used in early patches for dungeons. Even though the Holy Light build is stronger, this is best for early stages of Nax. Then with the major glyphs, we're going to do Glyph of the Being of Light, which increases the duration of it by 30 seconds. Seal of Wisdom reduces the cost of healing spells by 5%. Glyph of Flash of Light, which increases the critical strike chances of Flash of Light by 5%. For minor glyphs, Glyph of Lay of Hands, it reduces the cooldown of Lay on Hands by 5 minutes. Glyph of Blessing of Kings, which reduces the mana cost of your Blessing of Kings by 50%. Glyph of Blessing of Wisdom, which increases the duration of Blessing of Wisdom when they cast on yourself by 20 minutes. The reason why FLL looks pleasing is because of the talent spent in Benediction for the reduced cost of all his spells and Conviction for the increased critical chance brings no special utility compared to the Holy Light build. One of the biggest downsides of Flashlight build is the fact that it lacks area effect capabilities. With no use of Holy Light and the Glyph of Holy Light, the Flashlight build relies entirely upon Judgment of Light and Beacon of Light for any sort of area effect healing. With Infusion of Light, it causes your FLL to put a hot on a target with a Sacred Shield that causes FLL to heal for, for 12 seconds. If you're running with a Paladin tank, you can Sacred Shield and Melee DPS instead of the tank, be able to provide a hot to both of them. Flash of Light build focuses more on stacking spell power than intellect and thus can actually really help improve your dungeon spamming speed by using consecration on any AoE pulls. A ton of mobs in Wrath of the Lich King dungeons are undead and you should always be using Holy Wrath. Any chance you can help to improve your dungeon clears. With your Pursuit of Justice, it is a quality of life spell that'll make it easier to get into melee range quickly so that you can drop the conch and Holy Wrath. Remember to use Holy Shock and hopefully a FOL instant cast as you run if the tank needs some immediate heals. The part of any paladin is knowing how to use hands and CDs to make the dungeon easier on everyone. During a period of heavy damage on the tank, you can cast Divine Shield on yourself and hand the Hand of Sacrifice on the tank so that it reduces the damage he takes while taking none back. This is 40% damage reduced when talented to the tank. Always remember your ABCs. Always be casting. Even if the tank is full HP and is conked down, can I use Holy Wrath? Judgment available? Can I use this time to move closer to the next pull? Do I need to use Divine Plea? If the tank is full HP, make sure you're mealing from mana back from your Wisdom Judgment. Alright, if you're planning on boosting on pre-patch or are currently a Paladin trying to run Kerizen, try to get the, try to get the Lever of Souls redeemed from Romeo and Juliet. There's also a PvP one you can get called the Gladiator Totem which is much better version of this, but it requires PVP and it won't be available pre heroic spamming. Well, I'm going to be making more guides. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. If you like what you heard, have any advice or anything, please let me know with questions or concerns. Please leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed what you watched, please hit the like and subscribe button. I want everyone to know that, um, I'll be making all the healing guides from here on out. Uh, Holy Paladin, Restro uh, Druid and Priest.